In under 72 hours, Elon Musk unveils a robo taxi. The robo van, the cyber cab, and Optimus paving the way, paving the future of what transportation is going to be. At the same time, two days later, the man lands a rocket back on Earth in midair. And now we've got Jensen Young, the CEO of NVIDIA, praising Elon Musk for achieving the impossible with AI. And we have to talk about it because here's the thing. Whether Elon Musk is taking care of X or XAI or SpaceX or the boring company or whatever, whatever the company he is running, this all impacts Tesla in a positive way. It shows you how Tesla is being run. It shows you how incredible the team is in every single company that Elon is running. And outside of their own ecosystem, there's the Elon Musk ecosystem where every other company works for each other. They help each other out. It's, it's a, an amazing thing. And again, the reason why I'm all in Tesla stock, again, it's for a full stop driving a robo taxi, but the reason why I can sleep at night is because of this guy. Now, there's a video here that the CEO of NVIDIA is praising Elon Musk of something that he did in 19 days, which is absolutely insane. And we have to take a listen and talk about it because it's a sheesh moment. It is. So let's watch it right before you smash that like button and hit subscribe. Let's go. From the moment of concept to building a massive factory, liquid cooled, energized, permitted in the short time that was done. That is like superhuman, right. and and as far as as far as I know, there's only one person in the world who could do that. Right. You know, I mean, Elon is singular in this understanding of engineering and and construction and large systems and marshaling resources. It's unbelievable. I just want to stop right here and say what the godfather of AI just says, so you don't miss it because it's pretty flippin' important. He says, if there's one man who can do what this guy did in 19 days, it's Elon Musk and calls him a super flippin' human. All you haters out there, I don't care how much you hate Elon Musk, but you have to respect him for all the work that he's doing. He's an alien, man. Let's just put it that way. He's a flippin' alien, all right? He's a flippin' alien. And you know, we'll get to exactly what he did in 19 days that was so impressive that even shocked the CEO in NVIDIA, the godfather of AI, it shocked the heck out of him because no one has ever done this before. And of course, then his engineering team is extraordinary. And from the moment that we decided to get to go, the planning with our engineering team, our networking team, our infrastructure computing team, the software team, all of the preparation advance, then the, all of the infrastructure, all of the logistics and the amount yeah. of technology and equipment that came in on that day yeah. to training, 19 days. 19 days is incredible, mm -hmm. but it's also kind of nice to just take a step back and just, do you know how many days 19 days is? <laughs> it's just a couple of weeks. Yeah. Right. And the mountain of technology, if you were to see it, is unbelievable. Yeah. All of the wiring and the networking and just getting this mountain of technology integrated and all the software, incredible. Right. Yeah. So I think what Elon and the X team did, what they achieved is, is singular. Never right. been done before. Just to put in perspective, 100,000 GPUs, that's, you know, easily the fastest supercomputer on the planet as one cluster. A supercomputer that you would build would take normally three years to plan right and then they deliver the equipment and it takes one year to get it all working yes we're talking about 19 days <sighs> did you guys listen to guys something that took that's supposed to take one year the guy did it in 19 days in fact he was talking about four years like three years of it supposed to be planning they did it in 19 so four years 19 days in 19 days and i quote this is what he said what they did was singular never done before the xai team only took 19 days to do what was supposed to be taken a year in installation planning all that kind of stuff after this clip they were still talking and they were saying how extraordinary the planning was and how fast it was coming from jensen he's shocked 19 days, one huge cluster. That's insane. Like th that is in flip insane. Now, what does this mean for Tesla investors, right? You guys know I'm going all in. You guys probably watching me because of, you know, being all in a Tesla or getting your news from Tesla or just talking about stock prediction, whatever it may be, you guys have some sort of stake in Tesla or you, or you guys love following the company or just Elon Musk. What does this mean for Tesla investors? 
Well, not just Tesla investors, but all Elon's company. This means that Elon doesn't mess around when it comes to solving things. When he needs to get things done, he goes and does it. If this man did something that surprised the godfather of AI, Jensen Hong, the CEO of NVIDIA, what do you think he's doing in Tesla with full self driving, with a robot taxi and Optimus? They're going full force. They, they're going full, they're, they are all in in this. And again, it's the, the reason why I'm all in Tesla stock is because of the robot taxi and FSD since 2020. In fact, I tweeted today, or I posted today on X, that I've been holding Tesla stock for 1,669 days, which is quite funny. And I'm curious to know how long you guys have been holding Tesla stock. Comment down below. I'm very curious. But across all his projects and all his companies, this guy is, he's going at it. Like, compare Tesla to Apple right now. Yes, Apple's a cash cow. Tesla is not at the moment. I understand that. But what innovation is Apple doing? iPhone 16 came out and they just added a camera. That's it. Everything else is the same. But when you convert to Tesla, they're flipping having cars that drive themselves. They're having robots dancing across the flipping floor. And so many other projects that we don't even know about that's going at the back end in, in behind the curtains. This is the company full of innovation and this innovation will one day pay off. Will make a lot of money. It's going to be a sheesh moment when that happens. But this is why I can be going all in Tesla stock because this dude, he ain't stopping. I think even the shorts and the bears can agree that Tesla in the long term is going to be a flipping beast. They're just making a lot of fuss, a lot of noise in the near short term. But if you're a long term investor, man, there's no reason why you should not be sleeping at night with this. Now, this is not the first time that the CEO of NVIDIA was praising Elon. He did it few months ago, I think four or five months ago, and this is what he had to say. Tesla is far ahead in self-driving cars, but every single car someday will have to have autonomous capability. It's safer, it's more convenient, it's more, more fun to drive. And in order to do that, it is now very well known, very well understood, that learning from video directly is the most effective way to train these models. We used to train based on images that are labeled. We would say this is a this is a car this is a sign this is a road and we would label that manually it's incredible and now we just put video right into the car and let the car figure it out by itself and this technology is very similar to the technology of large language models but it requires just an enormous training facility and the reason for that is because there's videos the data rate of video the amount of data of video is so so high well the same approach that's used for learning physics the physical world um, from videos that is used for self-driving cars is essentially the same AI technology used for grounding large language models to understand the world of physics. The ability to generate video that makes sense, that are conditioned by human prompt, that needs to learn from video. And so the next generation of AIs need to be grounded in physical AI, needs to, be under, needs to understand the physical world. And the, only, the, the best way to teach these AIs how the physical world behaves is through video, just watching tons and tons and tons of video. Music to my flipping ears. He's saying that Tesla is far ahead in self-driving cars. And every single car in the future will have to have some sort of autonomous capabilities. I mean, he didn't say some sort, he said, a lot of aut autonomous capabilities. And in order to scale that, in order to have autonomous capabilities that can actually be safer, be convenient and actually work, you have to have video AI. You have to have physical real world AI. Who has the most physical real world AI in data right now? Who has the most? Waymo? Well, let's look at the chart. Look at that, look at the chart, look at that. Look at Tesla compared to everybody else. And there, Baidu is there too. And just, oh my goodness, how can you compete against that? And this was, you know, a few months ago. They're probably at 2 billion right now, by the way. 2 billion miles of data. Oh, you just can't compete with that. I'm sorry, you just can't compete. And recently, Waymo CEO came out and said that, hey man, yeah, Tesla is ahead with all the data that they got. Everyone's talking about how Waymo is ahead because they're already doing it. Mm-mm. Wait until robot taxis, robot taxis get on the road, man. It's gonna be, I don't know how Waymo's gonna survive because the way how Elon is saying it, how Waymo servers is slow and expensive, and the way how he talked about it on robot, on robot taxi day, saying that's gonna be like 30 cents per mile compared to a dollar, that's already more than half the price, maybe 70, 80% cheaper than a flipping Uber driver. I don't know, man. It's just hard. And even, the Waymo guy comes out and says the same thing. It's absolutely 
and same. Jensen also says in the same video, he says that the next generation AIs need to be grounded in physical AI. And the best AI to teach these AIs is watching videos and a lot of them. And again, Tesla has the most videos. And with almost 7 million vehicles on the road collecting data every single day, it's just you can't compete with that. You, you just can't compete with that. It's an unassailable lead. You, you can't. Like, this is why I can sleep at night. Also, it's funny because Jensen does throw shade on LiDAR as well because those don't work because you can't scale. And they're pretty expensive to do as well compared to what a Tesla can do. Like, for crying out loud, the cyber cab is going to be... Is gonna be Priced in less than $30,000 a piece and it's autonomous driving. Could you imagine that? Compare that to a Waymo that's like almost 200000 Like you can't, you just can't compete. You just can't compete. This comes down to execution now for Tesla and getting the AI and the full self driving software to the point where it's unsupervised, which Elon did say is going to be available in two states next year. Man, no, that's incredible, man. Like, you know, when you look, when you hear these stories of what's happened, of what Elon is doing on his teams, coming from someone, the NVIDIA CEO, the godfather of AI, him saying that it took only 19 days to make that XAI server that's supposed to take four years. Fine, one year, we can say. It's incredible. You want to... I don't understand why you want to bet against Elon Musk and stuff. The dude's catching flipping, flipping rockets from mid from space to ground <laughs> and then he's solving full self driving and stuff like that with an incredible team with a passionate team with the goal that to make everything safer more convenient get your time back why would you want to bet against that don't you hate here's the thing i love driving <laughs> i'll be honest i love driving but man not the same not the same day to go to work not the same routes not the same traffic i'd rather sleep in the car work in the car or just watch a movie man whatever man just anything driving every day is just not for me especially for the same route same places you get tired of driving too man you know so it's good to get your time back and do the things that you really want to do and if this thing can go make money for you what else do you want man what else do you flip it one but that's the video for today and i had to bring it to light because this is incredible this is how elon works this is one of his companies imagine the rest of his companies and we know how the rest of his companies are moving it's incredible and it's important to know what elon is doing in his other companies so we know what pace and what intentions he's got for his other companies because he's passionate with all of them with all his companies Neuralink, boring company spacex x xai tesla all of them he loves them all and he is going full force with tesla with this robot taxi fs he's all in just like how i'm all in into tesla he's all in and i'm not gonna bet against it no way jose now this is a long-term thing right in the short term there's six catalysts that could take the stock to 300 bucks and yes all within six months if they all become true check out the video right here it's pretty interesting and there's you know very valid reasons for it so check it out subscribe guys get your about a dip t-shirt and i shall see you guys in the next video see ya